All right, this video is how to tell what refrigerant is in a bottle, in a recovery bottle. The recovery bottle is gray and yellow. Also, uh, if you have a, a unit that's all located in one specific temperature, um, like a, uh, a package unit that's all outside and you read the temperature outside, if the unit hasn't been running in an hour or so, uh, you can actually tell what refrigerant's in it, even if the rating plate is wore off and you can't see what refrigerant it is. Uh, also on your uh, compressor, also it should say the refrigerant if the rating plate on the outside of the condenser is wore off or heat pump. Uh, you can also look on your uh, compressor rating plate. Okay, so we have a pink bottle here, it's 410A, and uh, we have a green bottle and that's R22. So we have a temperature uh, multimeter with a temp probe, okay, right here. And what we're reading for 410A at a constant temperature of 70.7, uh, .7, so we'll just call that 71, 71 degrees, okay? We're reading 205 PSI or so, okay? So 410A, if you check your pressure temperature chart at 205, should be roughly uh, 71 or 71.5 degrees. So the pressure temperature correlation of 410A tells you that there's 410A in this bottle. Now, obviously there is because it's a pink bottle, okay? Um, but if we had this gauge attached to our uh, recovery cylinder, as long as we didn't pull any air or nitrogen or something like that into our recovery tank, uh, then we can check to see what refrigerant's in the recovery tank if um, maybe you, you wrote on the recovery tank and um, just temporarily until you filled it up to pressure. Um, but uh, and somehow that got wore off or something, you can tell what refrigerant's inside the recovery tank because you do not want to mix the refrigerants. Uh, that would be really bad, all right? You want to keep all one refrigerant inside the recovery cylinder. So, um, once again, uh, if I know is a constant temperature in this room of 71 degrees, and this refrigerant bottle's been in here for, you know, several hours, uh, I know the refrigerant's at a constant temperature of 71 degrees, and if I check the 205 PSI and I check my pressure temperature chart, it'll tell me what temperature is actually uh, the refrigerant actually is, and that would be roughly 71 degrees. Now, we come over to R22, and it's a completely different pressure. At, this is at a saturated state where you have liquid in the bottom of the bottle, uh, and then you have vapor in the top part of the bottle. All right, it's a saturated state. Both uh, exist, liquid and vapor at the same time. The vapor is what's exerting the pressure, all right, and it's always going to be a constant pressure regardless of um, how much, uh, how many pounds of refrigerants inside the recovery bottle. As long as it's had a chance to sit and the the gases have expanded, if you pulled the refrigerant out, as long as they had a chance to expand, it's been sitting there for a couple hours or you know at least an hour. Um, I would take it out of a hot van or something like that uh, and put it into a cold shop and expect that to work. But if the refrigerant's been uh, in the same location for a couple hours. Um, at least one hour, um, then you can kind of tell what refrigerant's inside the bottle. All right, so look, uh, 125 psi, and about 128 psi. We'll go with this on the green on the green gauge. All right, on the saturated temperature that it says, it says that 127 psi G for R22 should be roughly right over 72 degrees. Okay. So there's going to be some um, error, all right, in the multimeter, maybe in the gauge set, maybe it needs a little bit of an adjustment, okay, because they're, they should be adjusted, normally they come uh, adjusted for sea level, so it should be roughly right on the zero, okay, when you get them. Um, if you change elevations, you have to adjust that, you have to take the cover off and adjust that screw um, so that the needle is at zero when there's no pressure on it. But basically you can tell what system would have 410A in it, and which system has R22 in it, just because of the pressure difference. 207 PSI G versus 127 PSI G. If the system's been off, if it's a package unit, system's been off for an hour, and it's had a chance to equalize both sides at the same pressure, then you can tell what refrigerant's in it, just by the pressure at the corresponding temperature. Okay? Same thing with the recovery bottle, and obviously we know what refrigerant's already in it because pink or rose at 410A and light green, that is R22. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed yourself and see us next time at AC Service Tech.